Hey guys, my name is Scoby and welcome back to another video. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to create a brand new YouTube channel from scratch. We're going to be starting off from the very beginning. We're going to be creating a brand new email. We're going to be creating a brand new YouTube channel. And I'll even show you a couple of things, including how to upload your first video and a couple of other cool things we can do on YouTube. Let's jump right into this. So the first thing we need to do is of course go to the YouTube website. For me, I'm going to be starting on Google right now and I'm just going to be typing in YouTube. Once this comes up, we're going to be of course coming to the YouTube website. We're going to be coming directly to youtube.com and here we're going to be brought to the YouTube website. From this point, we're just going to be starting out on the home screen right here. We're going to be coming up to the top right and we're going to be looking for the sign in button up here in the top right. We're going to be left clicking this and here we're going to be brought to the sign in page for our Google account. So from this point, if you do already have a Google account or a Google email, feel free to log in here. However, if you're like me and you're going to be creating everything from scratch, what we're going to be doing is coming down here to the bottom left of this to create account. We're going to be clicking this open and I'm going to be creating a new account for myself. Now, of course, you can choose what you want to do here for your account or to manage my business. But for today's video, I'm assuming most people will also be doing it for myself. So we're going to be selecting this and here we're going to have to enter some personal details. So the first thing we have to do is to enter our first name and last name. We're then going to be clicking this option, create a new Gmail instead. So here we're going to be able to enter a custom email for ourselves. And as long as it's available and no other user has it, we'll be able to get this as our email. And then we're going to have to enter our passwords for this. Once you have all of this data entered, make sure you can remember your username as this will be vital at another point if we ever want to log back into our account. So make sure you keep track of this. From this point, once you have all this information filled, we're going to be clicking the next button. The next thing we're gonna to have to do is enter some more detail about ourselves. So the first thing we have right here is entering a phone number. This is optional, so I'm actually gonna be skipping this from this step. We can also enter a recovery email address. This is something I would recommend as it can help recover your account later on just in case you ever lose it. So if possible, I would enter a backup or a secondary email that you have here as well. You'll we will then need to enter our date of birth. You'll then need to select a gender and we're gonna be continuing and entering all this data next. Again, once you have all this filled in, we're going to be clicking next again. And here we can then set up and choose our personalization settings. Now here you have one of two options. You can do the express method, which is going to be one step or the manual method, which is going to be five steps. For me in today's video, I'm going to be doing the manual method. But if you would like to do something quicker, feel free to the express. Otherwise, follow along with me. I'm going to be selecting this. I'm going to be clicking next. So the first thing we can do and choose is how we want to save our web activity. So here we can keep data until I delete it manually. We can keep it for 18 months and then manually delete it any time, or we can completely remove and don't save any data. So here you can choose exactly what you want on this list. We're going to have the same question again with our YouTube history, again with very similar answers. Here you can choose exactly what you want and we can continue. We're then going to have to enter some details about our ad personalization. Here we can show personalized ads or generic ads. Again, this is going to determine how much data they're going to collect on you and how much data they're going to know about you. So you can determine which one of these you would like to select as well. You can then get the option for privacy reminders. I would recommend enabling this. This can be good to keep up to date and it's good to get a reminder every now and again. And then finally, you'll get an overview with all of your data. From this point, we can just click confirm here at the bottom. We will then have to agree to the privacy in terms of YouTube. Again, if you want to read all this, all this information is here, along with links to everything else. We can simply click I agree once you have accepted all of these terms. So from this point, we currently have a Gmail and we have a YouTube account, but we do not have a YouTube channel. Our next step from this point again is to come up to the top right. We're going to be clicking on our user profile right here. And we're going to be coming to the very top option here called create a channel. And here is where we're actually going to create a channel for our YouTube account. So the first thing we can do is give this channel a name and here you can name it whatever you want. So I'm going to be naming this channel chilled out lo-fi non-copyright music. This is going to be a new YouTube channel I'm starting where I'm going to be uploading a lot of non-copyright lo-fi music. So if anyone's interested in checking it out, I will leave a link in the description down below. We also have the option right now to upload a profile picture. For now, I'm going to be skipping this. I will come back to this a little bit later when we upload some other details to our account. But you can feel free to edit this step as well if you would like. We're then going to be clicking create channel. Now this can take a couple seconds, so we might have to be patient here while this is creating. And just like that, we'll be brought to our channel. Currently, we have nothing here. There's no information. There's no banner. There's nothing else. So what we're going to be doing is actually customizing a couple of things here to add some details to our channel. So we can do this by coming up to the top right here again. We're going to be clicking customize channel. And here we're going to be brought inside our YouTube studio. From this point, we can click continue on this pop up. And here we're going to be adding a couple of different things to our channel. So the first thing we're going to be doing is coming here underneath channel customization is the basic information. And here we're going to be adding first is a description about our channel. Here we can see our channel URL. At the moment, it's not possible to customize this. We can create a copy of this on the right. And we can share it with anyone we want. We can add specific links to our YouTube channel. So here you can click to add a link. You can give it a title and a URL. So for example, you can add your Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, anything else you want here, and then enter the URL here with it as well. 
We can then choose how many links we actually want to appear in our channel. And below this at the very bottom, we can set up contact information where we can set up a business type email. So anyone that comes to our channel will be able to find it. So it'll be able to contact us directly. Once you're happy with all of your options here, we're going to be clicking publish on the top right. And all of this information is going to be saved. Next thing we're going to be coming to is the branding option right here. We're going to be clicking this open. And here's where we're going to be able to add a couple of different things to our channel. We can add a picture, we can add our banner, and we can add a video watermark. So the first thing I'm going to be doing is adding a picture. And here we can see some extra details about the picture, the size, and the recommendations. So they recommend it to be at least 98 by 98 pixels and no more than four megabytes. If you'd like to read more information, I'll be leaving some links in the description down below. But here you can click learn more about this. To upload a picture, we simply click upload right here and then just locate to where your picture is. So I'm going to select mine. Here you can choose how much of a crop you want to have. So I'm actually going to be filling my whole picture. I'm going to be clicking done and then my profile picture is going to be added. I'm going to be the same thing with a banner image. Again, they'll give us a recommended size here, which is 2048 by 1152 and can be no more than six megabytes. Again, we can click upload here as well. And again, here you can select the image that you want. You can crop and scale it as you want. And here you'll get all the recommended size. So here will be viewable on all devices. This will be viewable on desktop and everything will be viewable on TV. So feel free to make the banner exactly how you want. Once you're happy, simply click done. Your banner will then be added. And then finally, you'll have the option for a video watermark. For me, I'm also going to be uploading the same picture as my profile picture. This is totally optional. You can choose exactly what you want here. Again, we can crop and select this as we want. I'm going to be clicking done. We can then choose how long it's going to be displayed for at the end of the video, custom time range or the entire video. For me, I'm going to be setting up the entire video, but you can feel free to customize and set this as you want. Once again, once you're happy with all these changes, what we're going to be is coming to the top right. We're going to be clicking publish and then our changes are going to be saved and published on our channel. Now, some of these changes, depending on what you're adding, can take a couple of seconds to a couple of minutes to fully update on your YouTube channel. So you might just want to be patient while everything's getting set up there. The last thing we're going to be doing is coming to our layout. And here we're going to have a couple different things and options that we can set up. These are things that we can't do a lot right now, especially with a new YouTube channel, as we don't have any videos. But here we can set up a channel trailer. We can set up a featured video and we can set up featured sections on the homepage of our channel. So these can be different playlists, short videos, specific uploads, or you can even choose popular videos and things like this. So it's really nice to set up the channel so that when anyone comes to visit your channel, you'll be able to showcase the content that you want them to see exactly for the first time coming here. And I think this is really nice options again you can feel free to make any changes once you have videos at a later point and feel free to click publish on the top right from this point we're going to be coming over to our left side here of our youtube studio we're going to be clicking on dashboard and here is where we're going to see most of the details and this will be the very first page we're brought to when we come to our youtube studio here we'll be able to see all of our current analytics, so our subscribers, views, watch time, and we'll see our most recent video's performance. Here we'll also have the option to upload videos, and as you start to have more videos here, this will be populated with more and more things, and it is possible to customize this in the future. So from this point, what we're going to be doing is uploading our very first video. To do this, we're again, to do this again, we're going to be coming up to the top right. We're going to be clicking on the create option, and here we have one of two options. We have upload videos or go live. For today's video, I'm simply going to be clicking the upload video option and here we can select and choose any video that we want to upload. So for me, I currently have my video here. I'm simply going to be dragging and dropping it into this section and I'm going to be letting my video upload. Now, while your video is uploading, we can actually fill and enter all of the details here, even while it's uploading in the background. So the first thing we can do is set up a title and here you can give the video a title, whatever you want. I'm just going to be naming a test video. Below this, then we can set up our video description. Again, I'm just going to be saying test description underneath this. Then we can select a video thumbnail. So at the moment, I don't have a thumbnail for my video to add thumbnails. You do need to have a verified phone number, as you can see in the pop up right here. So to do this, we will have to click here. You'll have to click verify and you will have to fully verify your phone number before you can add any thumbnails to your channel. Underneath this, we can add this video to playlists. So if we click this drop down here, we can see all of the playlists at the moment I have none, but it is possible to create one here. So I'm simply going to be clicking create playlist and I'm just going to be naming it lo-fi music. So I have a playlist here called lo-fi music. I'll simply click create. I'll be able to select this playlist and I'll be able to select multiple playlists as possible as well if I have multiple available. And then this video will be added to this playlist. Below this, I can then select the audience. And here we can choose if this video is made for kids. Now, this is important to know that it's specifically made for kids or not. It's not just that this video is available for kids. It's specifically for the YouTube kids section. So I'd imagine most people when are uploading videos should select no, it's not made for children, but you will need to look into the content guidelines that you have and the type of videos you make. But for me, it's set to not. We'll also have the option here to set age restriction. This is not applicable for me, but if you do need to check this out, it is available here as well. Now, another thing to keep in mind is if we click this show more button, we'll have a couple of other things, including allowing paid promotion. We can select automatic chapters. 
below this and we can enter some tags and this is going to be like your metadata to determine how people will find your video so here you can enter certain keywords for example music so for example when someone searches music on youtube they will have a chance of finding your video we can then select some language recording and a couple of other things here that i would recommend reading into in your own time some of this can be a little bit more complex but it's really worth reading and learning all of these specific things once you're happy with your video details we're going to be coming to elements here we can add subtitles, end screen, and cards. Again, these are all really easy to do. You simply follow the on-screen instructions. The next thing we will do is have our checks, and this is currently not available until your video is fully uploaded and it's fully processed in the SD version. So you can always refer to the status of your upload if it's a large video at the bottom here. It's currently a minus 49% done. We can see it's currently uploading. It'll be processing in SD, and it'll be fully done and completed all of its checks. But you can also return back to your video at any point for this. And then the last thing we have right here is visibility. And here we can determine when our video will go live, if it will be unlisted, public, or if we want to schedule our video. So for me in today's video, I'm actually going to be scheduling my video. I'm going to be scheduling it for next Monday, which is the 10th of January. And I'm going to be uploading it at 4 p.m. You'll also have the option to set this as a premiere. So these are all totally optional things as well. For me, I'm going to be leaving this blank. And once you're happy with all of your options and you're on the last step, we can click schedule at the bottom right. Or if you're publishing your video, it will be written here publish instead. You can simply click this and then our video will start to upload. Now, if your video is still uploading, you will get this screen. We can simply click close and we will always see the status of our video on the bottom right. Now, while your video is uploading, it is possible to navigate to the other items on this menu right here, but it's not possible to leave this page. Otherwise, your upload will be canceled. So from this point, the last page I'm going to be taking you through on your new YouTube channel is the content section here on the left. And here we can see all of our uploading, uploaded and previous videos, including the status of everything on here as well. So we can always refer back to here for our videos. So from this point, we can go take one final look at a YouTube channel that we just created. To do this from our dashboard, we can come up to the top left. We can click view channel on YouTube right here, which is going to open up a new tab where we'll be able to see our channel. Here we can see our brand new background has been uploaded. We can see our picture has been uploaded here. And here we can see all the details that we previously filled in about our YouTube channel. And just like that, we've created a brand new Gmail, a brand new YouTube channel, uploaded and set up some things for our channel and uploaded our very first video. Anyway guys, it's as easy as that to make and upload YouTube videos in 2022. I want to take this moment to give a huge shout out to the channel members, Sean Daly, Joshua Davis, and Devante Hunt. Thank you guys so much for supporting the channel. I really appreciate it. If you'd like to have your name shouted on future videos or some other perks, be sure to click the join button on any video on the channel. It would really help me out. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed it, be sure to drop a like. Subscribe if you're new. Check out the other videos on the channel. If you want to support me, drop a super thanks in this video. It would be greatly appreciated. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. Until next time, as always, keep it saucy. Peace.